Hey everyone, it's Mary Ann with Hit Kit Club. I am using the June kit of the month with the uh, embellishment packet, and I am going to be focusing on using up the chipboards that come in the kit. So I'm using the regular kit, the main kit, and the embellishment kit. So I'm just showing you a little close up of all the chipboard pieces that we can choose from. And I decided to use the blue checkered background. I just love it. It's a little toned down. The papers in this collection this month are really beautiful. So I chose the frame that I wanted to use. And I did not like the floral clump over to the bottom left with my husband and son's photo. So all I did was take the Tim Holtz scissors and they cut like butter when they cut chipboard. They actually cut a lot of things. Don't try to cut needles or pins though. You'll ruin your blade. So this is my second pair of Tim Holtz scissors. So anyway, I'm adding the photo behind the frame and I have removed the floral piece and I've made my chipboard frame square. So then I decide to go through all of the embellishments or the chipboard embellishments that are included in the kit and pick out which ones would be conducive to this layout. On a, It's kind of a travel photo. They went to Florida without me. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever been left behind when your family leaves on a trip, but it's not fun. Um, why would you go to Florida without me? Anyway, I don't, I couldn't go and there was good reasons to not go, but man, was I bummed the whole time they were gone. Um, so anyway, pick out the pieces and then what takes me the longest on this layout is trying to figure out the placement of the chipboards. I decide to move things around. A few different times. Um, I'm okay with the thickness of the chipboard on the layout itself, but I'm not okay with the chipboard that is going to lay on the frame. That gets a little too clumpy for a layout. Now, I've done 101 mini albums, and I will zhuzh that up to high, to high heavens. I will load up 15 layers of chipboard if I think it looks good. That really doesn't matter to me. But on a layout, it gets a little too thick to put into a like page protector in an album with the rest of the stuff. So you see here, it takes me a while to finagle, to place, to figure out what I am going to use. There's a few I didn't use, but I sure did get quite a lot in there. Um, so I used my T-ruler for straightening my photo, and then everything else just gets applied down. I love the colors of the Simple Stories uh, travel kit. It's actually pretty fun. And what Kim and Kim have combined together for papers and other embellishments really works well for a lot of different themes. So here's a trick I learned a long time ago for mini albums. If, if you want to reduce the thickness of the chipboard, all you do is take your fingernail and just remove a few layers of the chipboard and it becomes almost like an ephemera piece as opposed to a chipboard piece. So just grab the pieces that you like, trim them down by removing the layers, and then apply them to the chipboard album or to the chipboard frame, and you've got ephemera pieces instead of chipboard pieces, or pretty similar. Super easy, doesn't have to be perfect. See that? Super simple. Now they're thinner. And then you just attach with, I did use a wet glue because chipboard on chipboard and that raw chipboard is hard to get that to stick. So then I grabbed the brads. I felt as though the brads would really create some emphasis on the layout and a little more dimension, a little more texture, um, just a little more embellishment. So I did use my little lifter upper thingy to put those down because I wanted to see exactly their placement. I could have used a pick or, um, I've got other tools. I don't know why I had to use this one, but anyway, I added the brads, which create a really cool look. I love it. I placed them where there was some space. They really go well. And then I tried to choose colors that I liked, tried to create a little stop sign or stop light type of a collection of brads right here. It actually turned out pretty cute. Although we didn't, they didn't drive, they flew, it still works. You know, stop, slow down, go. It took me a minute. 
as you can tell, and uh, sorry for the delay, but I got those all in place and I loved the layout. So I took it off camera and I added some journaling strips to give the little bit of the story. And that is my layout. Simple, took me 20 minutes to actually pull together. This ended up being maybe like a six minute video, but you'll see how easy it came together. Look at the close-ups at the end here. I'm so glad you joined me. If you're interested in the Kit Club, go down to the bottom in the description. You'll read all about it. You can find where, where you can sign up. You can find me on all the social media platforms. Um, you can find Hit Kit Club on all the social media platforms. And I will be back again soon. I hope this has inspired you to focus on those chipboard pieces and have given you a couple little tips. So enjoy your day. Thanks for coming.